All right, morning guys, welcome back to the van. Uh, so today we're gonna install um, this. This is a, a Victron Smart battery monitor. It's the BMV712. Uh, I will link it in the description below. Uh, basically, it's gonna tell us you know, how much we're using, what we've got left, all kinds of information about our, our batteries and our power consumption. Um, it should be, well, it was gonna be a pretty quick job. I've had a quick look online. I really only need to sort of connect it up and then uh, add in the shunt. Uh, so yeah, it shouldn't take too long. And then this happened. The, uh, the new battery monitor is here. Shall I fit it? What? 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 Are you joking? First of all, we need to take this out. So what you're going to need to be doing is we need to take all the negatives off of there. Yeah. And then we'll need to put the shunt in inside. Okay, let me go and get changed. Um, I've got no idea where this is going to go. I got my gay shirt on. <laughs> I got my cat. Pig towels. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Look, who says? Who says I can't be like Brooch? <laughs> well, I'm not putting freaking spandex on the top knot in. Right, come in there. I'm ready. <laughs> right, so this is a Victron smart meter. Um, we're going to unbox it. So in the box we have a manual which we're gonna need. We're not gonna need the manual. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Quick installation guide. We might need that briefly. Yeah. Uh, grey wire, red wires, screws, plastic bit. <laughs> I believe this is the monitor. Yep, that's the monitor. Technical bit. That's the shunt. The sh oh the shunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in the box you basically get everything you need except for um, the ring terminals that you're going to need to put on the end of your uh, wires. So this is, it's like a, a 9 or a 10, so I've got some M10s for there. Um, but what we're also going to do, Emily, is we need to add in, uh, basically I've got all my negatives at the minute on the same, on just that one battery terminal post. What we need to do is we need to have the one wire coming off of there then the shunt and then we're going to move everything else onto this bus bar okay mm -hmm. so we're going to do that first okay uh, so tools you're going to need heavy duty crimpers do you know what do you know what they're crimp wire no it's what <laughs> these are are these yeah looks really sharp yep heavy duty oh. cutters you need uh, a basic socket set or a spanner <clears throat> whatever uh, and then i've got you some heat drink somewhere as well there's some heat drink somewhere and that's about it that's all you're gonna need so we will link all of these in the description below uh they're not expensive and basically these and one more smaller crimper cut is all i've had to buy for the electrics so far yeah. saved your life oh, right ready yep um if you're here for a quick easy you know this is how you wire it up job done five minute video this is the wrong video <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Right, okay, so what you're going to want to do is disconnect all your negatives. All those black wires. All these? Yeah. Okay. So they're all off then? Every, I've turned everything off, so you're going to need that one. And then what? Something to fit this? Something to fit that, yep, from your socket set. It's too small. It's too small. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just gone for the biggest one in the first place. It's right. just undone. Yeah, and then be careful not to lose the nut. So put that somewhere safe out of the way. So what we want to 
want to happen is you want this wire to go from the battery to the shunt yeah. and then out of the shunt you go we'll go from there to our bus bar what do you mean from the battery to the how do we do that then right so with this cable so we're going yeah. to need to cut this cable oh we've got to cut it yeah you've got to cut it and then you're going to need to put on uh, a 10 terminal crimp terminal <coughs> okay so this is just a bog standard crimp terminal it's a 16 because we've got 16 mil cable to a 10 to go on there and then on the other end you'll need so once you've cut that you'll have two empty ends wouldn't you so you'll need to put a 10 on one end to go to this and a 10 on the other end to go to this and then off of this you need to then go to this so you've got to cut it again and put two eights okay so not cutting and crimping right right so where should i cut it first right well what we need to do is we need to work <coughs> out the position where we want all of these things Isn't it right up here yep that's it right and then what you need to do is you need to strip it. So I don't have a stripper for this thickness of wire, so I normally just do it with those. Do you want me to do that bit? Yeah. yeah. The reason Louise is doing this type of stuff is because I'm really heavy handed and I'll just mess it up. Yes, you will. That's your stripped end. Oh, yeah. And then that's going to go in there mm -hmm. like that and then you'll use the heavy duty crimpers to crimp that on I think you this could have, yeah but I think you could do a bit more so I'll just cut you a bit more right so you're gonna need an 8 on one end and a 10 on the other end because this is 8 <laughs> right, this is you're doing the rest of it here on in, you're doing everything else, okay? <laughs> no, I've been doing well, like so far. You're doing a grand job, <laughs> I know. But you need to know this stuff in case I die, crack it, yeah, and you have to do your own bad stuff. Why would I do my own bad stuff? Well, what else can do for you if I'm dead? Shopman. So, I want my shrink wrap. Yep. Put my shrink wrap on. Heat shrink. Heat shrink. Yep. Uh, what, this is the 10 end, wasn't it? The short, it's the one with the shortest amount of copper is the 10 end. Yeah, that's the 10 end. So, this is the 10. Yep. Yep. He's on. I want him in the 16. Yep. Oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> All the way. Can't you get them out. You might have to open the things a bit more to get in it. Nailed it. <laughs> Is it tight? Pull it. Check it. Yep. Good. Tight. Yep. And then before you shrink that one on, I'll do your other one. Do the other one. Yeah. So you want an eight this time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And where does the eight go in? Which hole? It's the same hole because it's still a six. It's still you're still on a 16 mil cable. So oh, it's only okay. that, so that's the eight, and the hole's the ten. So that's the difference. But the cable is the same. It's quite funny. Emily's, Emily's ability to have a go at me and be horrible it seems to be quite limited when she's concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> right, good. Yeah, a good fitting. Yep. Yeah. Happy with that? Mhm. Mm okay. I mean, I do it, move it around quite often so it doesn't actually catch on fire. <laughs> Don't you interfere. Or should I just go then? Shut up. Yeah, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do next then? I'm going to do the other wire. Yeah? Yeah. And what are you putting on the other wire? What size? A ten. No. No, an eight. <laughs> Did you not find it rewarding? No, I did all of it. So that is going to go 
the ten is going to go on there. Get off then. Right. <laughs> if you could put holes in the line, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to teach you how to cook dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. Yeah, I'll cook. Pot noodle. Right, that red wire yep. has got to come from the positive terminal at that end. Oh, so, which one's the positive terminal? so it's the other one of these, yeah. but it's the realm of all the red wires on down that end. You know yep. the thing you've undone first? <coughs> yep, yep, yep. So you've got to go down there. Undo it. Undo it. Yep. Put that on it. Put that on. And then do it back up. Just at the top. Just at the top, yep. Right. And then let's just check it's going to be long enough before you fuck about in there because then it's got to come all the way back down this end and plug in to the shunt. Right, now listen to me very carefully. Okay. When you get down there, mm -hmm. it's very important that you don't touch. See that? So you've got a terminal there and then you've got the next terminal on the, in the line, so that one there with the black wire on. Yeah. It's very important that you don't touch a metal part between those two terminals, okay? Ah, oh, for... Yep. So you just go down there, you undo that one. Yep. Don't touch a metal part. Don't touch a metal part. It might be easier for you to do it through that hole. Right, so that's it all in. Um, obviously, I need to tidy up a little bit. So all those negatives, so I've just got the one coming off of there now. I think this is okay. All going to this um, bus bar there. And then my shunt is in line between the one that comes off the battery and then that goes off up there. So yeah, that's that. And then from the positive terminal of the battery, which is at the far end, there's this uh, positive feed wire that goes to the shunt. And then out of the shunt is there's this, it's like a telephone cable really. Um, but then there's loads of it so you could probably i think this will go to the other end of the van if i needed it to and then there's your your monitor oh i probably should say i will tidy all this up it's just where I've, it's just you know look i've still got to tidy it all up but you don't really want to see that knackered didn't you after all that work <laughs> so basically we've installed it we've come inside because it's freezing um this is the monitor which i don't think we're going to sight in the van i'll probably just tuck this away somewhere and you'll, I'll show you why in a minute but yeah so it's a bit confusing at the minute because I've got the mains charger on so it tells you what voltage the battery's at um what are you doing <laughs> you're checking yourself out <laughs> <laughs> no. right it tells you the hours it's got left to go and I believe I'm just I'm gonna double check though but I leave I believe that's until 50% discharge so because you don't really want to let your batteries get underneath the 50% and I think that's what it is. So at the minute it says infinite because obviously it's on the main hookup so it'll they'll last infinitely. Uh, that's your state of charge, 100%. And I think that's 100% of the total capacity, not 100% of your 50% that you've got, if that makes sense. Uh, and powers, how much watts. So yeah, there's loads of information on there. And then because it's the 712, it means that you can connect it. You get this Victron Connect app. Um, so at the minute on mine you can see I've got the that's the new 
smart monitor and that is the mains charger that we already have so if we go into the smart monitor all that same information that's on the display is basically just on here so i've got 100 percent state of charge uh, the voltage of the batteries and all that same information so yeah because i've got that i, I don't need to to locate this anywhere in the van uh really i might do it at a future date but for now yeah we're quite happy with it of course not he knows <laughs> is that because you've been working outside in the cold yeah <laughs> <laughs> there you go so yeah emily's done a cracking job obviously how did you find it doing the electrics easy i don't know what he's going on about. <laughs> um oh the other thing here's the Basically, it does come with an instruction manual, but all you really need is this. So this is just the, the wiring diagram. I'll see if I can take a picture of this and Emily will stick it as a an attachment in her blog or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you might, are you going to write a blog about installing it? Yeah, because I know now. You know what you've done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Okay, so I will put a link in the video description to Emily's blog, which will have this wiring diagram and um, how she felt about installing it. And I'll also stick a link... Um, for the actual battery monitor itself uh, so you guys can see which one we've got and I might even stick some links in for the tools that we've used as well because um, really the reason Emily done this video in the first place is because we're getting quite a lot of messages from people saying that they didn't have the confidence to do mm -hmm. it or they didn't think they could do it but after seeing yeah. us doing it they're, they're going to give it a go themselves which it, to be fair most of it's it's pretty simple isn't it if yeah. you if you have got a little bit of common sense and a lot of time to do the research then i don't see any reason why anyone can't do and if you have a louise well, no, it's if, even easier if you don't have, if you don't have it because i didn't have a me <laughs> no you didn't but like, um, the electrics and stuff yeah but you louise has a lot of patience and she does do a lot of research into things so um whereas me i have like an attention span of well three seconds and then I'm done but um no so you do have to do a lot of research so you do have to have that kind of like willpower and stuff like that um but I found it quite easy to do obviously I did have Louise like helping me but um you know if you do the research then it's nothing that's too too difficult yeah it's all it's all really easy once you've done it once if that makes sense so it's just it's just that initial you know finding out how to do things and then yeah once you've got the basics you just expand on that and YouTube and Google are a godsend, really, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, and I'll um I'll put links in so you can find your gay hat and your gay flannel <laughs> shirt. So I haven't just worn a flannel it. shirt for this yeah, whole Yeah, well, this build. is the only like gay thing I've got. You got me. Oh well, yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, so thanks guys uh, for watching. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, yeah, and that's it really, isn't it? Yeah. If you uh, what we're gonna do now is now we've got that we've got a Dometic CRX fifty fridge, so now we can do a proper review on that with the power consumption. So that'll probably be uh, the next video. Um, yeah. But yeah, please hit the subscribe button, ding the bell, and the, the likey thing. Yep. Yeah. Thumbs up. Oh yeah, thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.